What's going on my masculine family? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I wanna read a question and it's gonna be something along the lines of, I don't know, like no contact again or something like that. Something where getting an X back, I don't know. Something catchy and uh, so you guys can click on it. Uh, he says, hey man, been watching a lot of your videos on YouTube. Keep up the good work. Quick question, me and my ex have been on and off for two months. So before I even continue this, anybody who tells me I've been on and off, you know, we fight, we break up, blah, blah, blah. On and off isn't good. Being on and off is not a good thing. Fighting is not a good thing. So I want you guys to think about, I want, I'm gonna make relationships extremely simple for you right now. Because a lot of people put this extra stuff on a relationship, extra emotion, extra meanings. A relationship is simply a compilation of moments that you have with another person and you guys have an expectation that you guys aren't gonna fool around with other people and cheat on each other. That's really what it is. Right? So when I go home to my girl, when I go home from here to my house, to my woman, there's going to be an interaction with each other. Now, do we make plans to hang out? I don't know. Right? That's a variable. It's one of those things that you figure out uh, when you're together. Sometimes I go back to work and do other things in the, in the, uh, in the bedroom at home. Right? Well, because she's got the, the living room as her office for streaming. So that's the thing, right? You got to play around with the situation and, and figure it out. Looking at it like this, it's a little bit hot right now. Uh, Canadian weather, warm and then cold, right? But uh, taking a look at this, when we make plans, that's a whole different thing. And I want that to be as positive as possible. But if we're not making plans and I'm just hanging out at the apartment, that still needs to stay positive. You don't fight, you don't bitch and, you know, because when you guys fight, it's a negative thing and too many negative things lead to breakups. Straight up. That's all it is. Complacency, insecurity, fighting, all this stuff leads to breakups. Okay. And we'll get into testing in another video. So the first two times she broke up with me, I just went no contact and she would call within a week pleading to come over. This time though, I broke up with her and we haven't talked in two weeks. Does it change anything because I broke it off? Also... We've been in a long-term relationship for a year. Thanks in advance. I get a lot of questions sometimes saying like, like, I broke up with her. Do I do no contact? No. No. You caused the damage. You started the, you initiated the breakup. Why would you do no contact? That doesn't make any sense. So no diss to you, homie. It's, uh, I'm not trying to make fun of you. I get that question a lot and it just doesn't make any logical sense for you guys to do breakup, to do no contact. Look. I know you don't want to screw it up. That's why you're asking. So I, I, I don't mean to come off as a fucking dickhead, but think about it. Use your, use your, your logic here. If she breaks up with you and you do no contact, that's the strength move. But if she breaks up with you, wants you back and she does no contact, I'm just trying to spin this a different way, a different way from her perspective, right? Just, just so you guys can understand, because a lot of you guys have gone through breakups from her leaving you. If she wanted you back, but she does no contact, how would the relationship continue? That doesn't make any sense, right? He needs to reach out to her and fix the problem. If he wants her back, she got dumped. So she's gonna go, you know what? Like, why would I, and which is what you guys should be doing. You guys should have a lot more self-worth and value yourself more. She's saying in this situation, he broke up with me. Why would I stick around? Why would I be in this relationship? Why would I continue? Why would I want him back, right? So he needs to go to her and be like, look, I didn't mean to, I did not mean what I said. I apologize. Let me, let me give it, let, let me fix this. That's what he needs to do. He needs to reach out to her and try to fix the problem. And uh, that's really it. Okay. That's how that situation will go. If you guys find yourself in a situation like that, where you break up with someone, you have to fix it. Right. And, and you guys got to stop being afraid to make a, make a, make a mistake. Right. I get that a lot too. Oh, I don't want to do this because I'm afraid that she'll be gone forever. That's not how life works, guys. If I was afraid to you upload YouTube videos, you guys never would have found me. Same with all your other favorite YouTubers. Okay. You just keep showing up. You keep doing the same thing over and over and you keep, you stay consistent. If you learn how to keep attacking your problems with action and courage, eventually you will never have that same paralyzing fear anymore. You'll just be like, okay, I understand that it, it will either work out or it won't. So what I want you guys to do is really study relationships, women, focus on reading, focus on becoming the best version of yourself up here. And then you attack your four pillars, right? Because look, this guy said, this guy said, 
Like she came, she came begging and pleading when he went, we, he went and did no contact. Look, I don't know what he was really doing in the no contact phase, but I'm pretty sure if, you know, she broke up with him, he's like, yo, right? Just like she's doing to him. So work on yourselves, guys. I know a lot of you guys are going through breakups. I know a lot of you guys are trying to understand like what's going on. So focus, hardcore focus on the stuff you need to get done. You might not even realize what you need to get done in your life. Take time to audit your life. And this is this, seriously, I'm going to say this in every video so it pisses you guys off. Take time to audit your damn life because if you don't, you're going to make your woman your focus. You're going to make her your purpose. You're going to make your relationship your purpose. Nobody, no woman, no man wants to be with a person that doesn't love and value themselves. Men deal with it a little bit more because we're like, well, you know, we're just cool like that. Women don't fucking want you to be weak, okay? They're savages like that. <laughs> so don't be weak. Focus on yourself. Look, I understand. It, it, it takes time. Don't hope for instant gratification. You have a long life to live. Delay gratification is always your best friend. Everything takes time. Everything takes patience and persistence. Focus on that. Be cool with that. Make that your friend. Instant gratification never works for anyone. So, love you guys. Take it easy. Coaching and all that crap's down below. And uh, book is almost done. Awesome, right? Boom. And I'll blast that out to the email list. And I will uh, put it in the description box of all my videos. So you guys can purchase it and whatever. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you. Done.